for the burial ceremonies. We go there and sew uniforms and dance around and weep for the same. Yet you know that that person has gone to a place that is beyond talk. Are you not aware? Am I not aware that there are some people only I can reach, only you can reach with the gospel of Christ? So I want these images to be with us this week. The image of a lake of fire burning those you love or you claim you love, your neighbors, your friends. And all because you kept quiet. And all because I kept quiet. At the same time, I want you to imagine eternal bliss. The glory of God shining everywhere, where there's no moon or sun, where the glory of the Lord is what is light. Where you live eternally in God's presence. Two contrasts. You be living there beautifully, and yet your loved ones, those who used to wine and dine are somewhere else in a, in a lake of burning fire. When you do that, you will know that it will be difficult to defend yourself before God on the last day. Knowing that you failed to warn others. But if you do your due diligence and duty, then you will not blame yourself because you know that you did try. So I want these images to remain with you all week. They are gooses and they are what weeds, and then of course the unbelievers in the world. The weeds are done unless they turn. It doesn't matter what position they hold in any church. God's compassion has no compare. But we can always pray for him to give us a compassionate heart. One that will enable us to love our neighbor truly as ourselves. To pray for them in our closets. To cry to God for their salvation. And to cry for your countries and nations too. Instead of joining anything to do anything. On your knees, even if the devil is anywhere in the seat of power, God can remove them because you cried out of compassion. Stop thinking you can use physical whatever. To, you will not do it. It's not doesn't work. It has ever worked throughout eternity. It has ever worked. Go to the Bible and check it. They should stop deceiving many of you who are now in the throes of one thing or the other. I don't want to mention countries, but you guys know those who know me know exactly what, where I'm heading. But we thank God for His word, goodness, and mercy because great is what the faithfulness of God and compassion. His compassion is wonderful and great. So join me as we sing this song. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There's no shadow of turning with thee. None at all. Thou changest not, my Father, my God. Thy compassions, they fail not. It is ongoing compassion for a dying world. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I have ever needed. Your hand has provided. All your children listening have ever needed, you have provided. Great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto us. Summer and winter, springtime and harvest, Rainy season and dry season. Sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. They join with all nature to witness God's great goodness. His compassion, His faithfulness, His mercy, and His love. Great is your faithfulness, my Father, my God. I join with all my brothers and sisters watching today to shout, Great is your faithfulness. For morning by morning, afternoon, night, you are messes we see. All we have needed, your hand has provided. Great is your faithfulness. 
Lord unto us. Dear God, the compassionate God, God who continues to weep over fallen humanity. We come before you, Lord, to have mercy. Father, I'm praying for those who have known your name and are still being distracted by the things in the world. I'm praying, Lord, my Father, my God, that through the broadcast to the podcast, Lord, the eyes will be opened. So they realize that only in you, only in you, Lord, only in you, Lord, is salvation. That everything else shall pass. Nothing on this earth shall remain. But the glory of the Lord abides and remains forever. Help your children, Lord. These are the ones I'm interceding for this morning. May they not fall from your grace. May they never depart to the world. May they cut off every umbilical cord that needs to be cut so that they will not fall prey to the wise of the weeds that are in many of these organized religions, calling themselves churches or church buildings or organizations. Head them above our Lord to stand up, to rise up and contend for the gospel of Christ, to have the courage, Lord, to speak to their neighbors and friends. And as they do, Lord, Father, manifest your grace and your power through them, Lord. Bless them as Lord as they walk. They will discover their calling in life. And when they do, Lord, may you continue to sustain them. May you continue to lead them. May you continue to guide them. May you continue to preserve them. May you continue to protect them and theirs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over everywhere this broadcast is being heard or will be heard in the name of the Lord Jesus. And Father, I thank you for today for this message. Glory and honor belong to you, Lord my God. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. By His grace, we'll continue our series next Sunday, Actions Have Consequences. We shall be using two nations, Sodom and Gomorrah, to elucidate the topic. See you guys next Sunday. Pray for us as we pray for you. May God bless and keep you in Jesus' name.